How safe is your job in a world reshaped by AI? Let's talk about the job market and how you can future-proof your career against AI. I know many people wonder what should I study or which job should I pick, but to really thrive in the future, it's important to understand what's happening in the world around us. By looking at the trends and the outlook of industries overall, you're going to be able to make more informed decisions about your life. So we will start out by looking at the big picture trends, exploring the five key trends that will shape the job market in the next five years. And then we're going to narrow it down step by step to help you develop a career strategy for your future. So here are the biggest five trends that you should pay attention to. The biggest change will come from technology. Advances in AI, robotics, and digital tools will create new jobs and transform how businesses operate. But AI will also replace many of the current jobs, bringing both opportunities and challenges for workers. Next is geopolitical tensions, particularly between US and China, is shaking up the global trade and economic partnerships. These changes will force businesses to rethink their traditional models and navigate new challenges in international markets. Demographics also play an interesting trend. Aging populations are driving up the need for healthcare, while younger expanding workforces in lower income regions are creating a higher demand for education. So for example, South Korea is one of the fastest aging countries because of low birth rates and high life expectancy. The elderly are expected to outlumber the working age population in the coming decades. And I do get a lot of comments that I look very young even though I'm almost 40. So there you have it, our people don't age. But I don't know, maybe they'll be fine with all the robot automations in the future? We shall see. The last two important trends are economic challenges and the green transition. With rising living costs and slower economic growth, workers need to focus more on upskilling and find creative ways to stay competitive. At the same time, climate change initiatives drive demand for new roles in renewable energy, environmental engineering, and sustainability. These are some of the trends changing industries everywhere in the world. Now let's talk about the job market changes that we're going to be seeing in the next five years. So we're pulling some numbers from the report by the World Economic Forum. In the last report, they predicted a net loss of 14 million jobs with 83 million jobs going away and only 69 million jobs being created. But this time around, the outlook is a little better. By 2030, 170 million new jobs are expected to be created, especially in tech, healthcare, and green energy, while 92 million jobs will still be displaced, which is a significant improvement compared to the last report. Of course, these predictions aren't really set in stone, but the trends shows that opportunities are growing, especially for those with the right skills. And before we dive into the roles that are on the rise, let's first talk about the ones that are disappearing. For example, postal service clerks are being replaced by automated sorting systems. So you probably still see mailmen delivering your mail to your door, probably until drones take over in the future, but who knows? But the people behind the scenes sorting the mail are being phased out by machines. Data entry clerks are facing similar fates with AI tools and data scientists automating the process of collecting, entering, and analyzing data. Bank tellers too are gradually being replaced by online banking and mobile apps, letting people handle transactions without ever stepping inside a branch. And even when you get into the branch, there are multiple ATM machines being managed by just one teller oftentimes, and that one person might handle all the issues that might come up. Similarly, cashiers and ticket clerks are being replaced by self-checkout systems and automated ticket counters. Think about when is the last time you ever bought tickets from a human being. Lastly, administrative assistants and executive secretaries are being swapped out for AI-powered scheduling and productivity apps like Calendly or Otter, which handles tasks that once needed human touch. As automation and AI tools continue to advance, jobs that rely on repetitive tasks are increasingly being irrelevant. Next, let's take a look at where the new jobs are popping up. For this, technology roles are clearly leading the charge 
We've got big data specialists, for example, who are diving into massive data sets to find insights that help companies make smarter decisions. And then there are fintech engineers creating the next generation payment systems and digital banking platforms that are changing how we handle money. Now, do you notice something interesting here? Do you see how the new jobs are often correlated with the roles that are disappearing? Data science specialists are stepping into the space that was once done by data entry clerks and fintech engineers are taking over tasks that were once handled by bank tellers. So remember this connection, we'll come back to this later. On top of that, AI and machine learning specialists are designing the algorithms that power everything from chatbots to self-driving cars and software and applications developers are still in demand as they build and maintain the software that we use every day. It could be mobile apps, web apps, or everything in between. People often think that we only need machine learning or AI engineers in the future, but that is actually pretty wrong. If you don't understand why, I did explain this in the video called AI for Everyone, but that's for next week, so stay tuned and I'll link it somewhere here once it's up. Now, number five on the list is security management specialists the ones that are ensuring our systems, networks, and data are protected from cyber threats. So while some jobs are fading, others are evolving and growing, and it's exciting to think about the skills and the opportunities that come with them. When we look at the top growing jobs, we do see a lot of similarities to the last report from World Economic Forum with a couple of changes. For example, in the last report, we saw business intelligence analysts and sustainability specialists on the top five. And even though they're not on the top five list, they are still pretty important. There is a strong push for green jobs driven by climate change initiatives. So renewable energy engineers and autonomous vehicle specialists are in demand with changes towards more sustainable energy solutions and the rise of self-driving technologies. Also, healthcare and education are seeing significant growth, again, even though they're not on the top five list, but these industries are still seeing rising opportunities. For example, nurses to take care of aging population and higher education teachers to equip the next generation with the skills they need in an evolving job market. So what are the skills that you need to be competitive in the future? The fastest growing skills that are highly in demand are in AI, big data, cybersecurity, and overall tech literacy. But don't forget soft skills like creative thinking and leadership are just as important. One area gaining a lot of attention is generative AI. Demand for gen AI training is skyrocketing, especially in the US and India. In the US, popular gen AI topics include prompt engineering, trustworthy AI and AI driven decision making. Meanwhile, in India, companies sponsor trainings focused on using AI tools to boost efficiency and application development. This shows twofold approach to gen AI learning. Workers are focusing on building strong foundation and companies are using it to enhance productivity. Now, I often hear people ask if AI is going to replace jobs, should I even bother learning to code? Is it too late for me? I think this is a major misconception. Coding is becoming a foundational skill for everyone, much like math. Everyone understands the basics of math, even if you're not a mathematician. Coding skills will be similar. People will need to know the basic coding skills even if they're not engineers. But the future is not only about technical skills, you will also need human-centered skills like creative thinking and leadership. Industries like renewable energy, environmental engineering, and healthcare are booming. So combining tech skills with expertise in these other areas will really set you apart. Remember earlier I mentioned a strong correlation between disappearing jobs and rising jobs? This is showing that training and upskilling and reskilling will be key to thriving in the future job market. For example, if you're a data entry clerk and don't embrace technology, you'll likely be phased out. But if you do embrace technology and upskill yourself, you can become the most in-demand person in the job market. In fact, the report says that by 2030, 59% of workers will need training. So if you want to get started with upskilling and build the most basic foundations in AI, even if you don't become an AI engineer necessarily, go check out this video to inform yourself. I'll see you there.